Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about lookup tables or LUTs. I'm just going to cover how to load them up into After Effects and then a little trick I use when I work with this type of file. This is pretty niche, but I'm going to start listing some of the LUTs I use on the website. So this video is just kind of if you were curious about how to use them. So to get started, I'm in After Effects 2023. I've just loaded some footage that is just from my phone. It's nothing fancy. And I've just got one empty adjustment layer. That's all you're going to need for this. So I'll just play through the footage now in the background. Uh, I took this video in Manchester just as like a little opener for a reel or a tiktok video or something so if you've got your lookup tables from me they are going to come in multiple different file formats so that you can use them in other software as well i'm going to use the thermal looks for this example so you can see they come in 3dl csp cube and icc file formats don't worry about like doing anything with the the actual files you don't need to install them or anything all you need to do in after effects is come to this panel on the right that says effects and presets and you can just type in LUT it'll show up here under utility and then when you've got your adjustment layer I'll just show you how to make one of those as well um, you can just right click underneath your footage in After Effects and just click on new adjustment layer and then you'll get the effect controls here and um, just drag the apply color look utility plugin into the effect controls and sometimes it'll bring up your file browser thing and um, sometimes it'll just say LUT not set uh, you can click choose look and then if you browse to wherever you save those files or wherever you've got your stored um, you can choose whatever you want really so like I said before I include multiple file formats the software that you're using when you load the lookup tables should only display the file types that are compatible with that software so if you're only seeing cube files then the software you're using is only compatible with the cube files blah 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 and um, obviously after effects is compatible with like everything that i use so i'm just going to choose thermal look number two and you can see it applies this thermal effect to my footage I'll play that again now. So before, and that's after. If you're not happy with the one you picked, you can go back up to choose look and then just pick a new one. I'm gonna stick with this one for now. And then the only other thing I'd really do when I'm working with a lookup table is I would just load a curves. So if you go back again to your effects, type in curves, it'll be under color correction. Drag that in to your effect controls. Put it above the apply color look. And then if you drag around the, the curve, just the main one, um, you can start influencing the brightness and contrast and stuff of the footage like at its source sort of edits your output of the lookup table i just do this in case if you load a lookup table that makes the footage really dark you can just quickly brighten it up without having to change the lookup table it doesn't add like a bunch of render time or anything like that so it's just an easy way to fix things if you don't like the output that's lookup tables kind of the basics covered uh, if you have any questions about anything you got from my site or just this video just leave a comment but um i know this video is like really specific and kind of to the point but i'm mostly just uploading in this so that when I make these available uh, there's a little bit of help if you are new to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.